praise the Lord. Gloria de Dios. God bless each and every one of you. Dios me lo bendiga a cada uno de ustedes. Gives me a great joy to see each and every one of you. Me gozo de verlo a cada uno de ustedes. And I want to give you greetings and much love in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a very special spirit here tonight. This spirit that is among us. He is in our midst with a purpose. So let us allow this beautiful spirit. That is in this place. Touch every part of our lives in the deepest part of our hearts because he has nothing but good intentions for us and with his purpose he has our best interest in mind. before we go any further let's go into a word of prayer that we can invite the Lord into this message that each and every one of us can be touched and that we can be moved by the power of God and that the Lord would help me in the translator to have the same anointing the same power and the same spirit moving and working within us let us pray unto the Lord As we've been hearing since this service has started tonight, we've been hearing the theme of the world missions. Estamos escuchando el tema de misiones mundiales. La lancha de salvavidas. The lifeboat. We know that God has a purpose in giving this theme to the church. Sabemos que el Señor tiene un propósito con este tema que ha dado a la iglesia. When we look at the picture that is given for this thing, we see a boat that is in the midst of dangerous waters. Uh, we see uh, the sky that is over this boat and over these waters. In the picture it is full of clouds and it is full of tempests. We see souls that are in the water uh, to their neck. With their hands reaching out for salvation. This photo was given as inspiration from the Holy Ghost. Dice, esta foto fue dada por inspiración del Espíritu Santo. And every part of this picture y cada parte de esta foto has a symbolism for the hour that we're living in. Dice, tiene un símbolo de la hora que nosotros estamos viviendo. The tempest that is above the waters. Dice, la tempestad que está arriba del agua. It represents the danger that is over this world. Dice, representa, dice, el peligro en este mundo. The great tempest of the divine judgment of God dice, that is getting ready to unleash on this world. Dice, la tempestad significa, dice, el there are many souls that are drowning in the waters of sin. 24 hours a day. 24 hours a day. Seven days a week. Seven days a week. Around the clock. Dice, uh, dice alrededor del tiempo. Souls are dying. Dice las almas se están muriendo. People are leaving this world. Dice la gente se está yendo de este mundo. And the moment that they leave their body. En el momento que ellos dejan su cuerpo. As quick as lightning. Dice rápido como un estruendo. They are plunging into the depths of hell. Dice, se están dice, uniendo, uh, hundiendo en el infierno. While we are so caught up. Dice, pero nosotros estamos tan ocupados. In the comforts of our own personal lives. Dice, en nuestra conformidad, en nuestras vidas personales. Going about our daily business. Dice, haciendo lo que hacemos a uh, todos los días. Focused on our own things. Dice, enfocándonos en nuestras propias cosas. We are constantly oh, surrounded by souls. Pero estamos constantemente alrededor de almas. That are hurting. Que están uh, golpeadas. That are bound. Dice, que están atadas. They are afflicted. 
que están afligidas, they are damaged. Dice que están golpeadas, they are dying. Están muriéndose, and they are headed for a devil's hell faster than we can think. Están yendo al infierno lo más rápido que nosotros podamos pensar. People are leaving this earth faster than we can move. Dice la, las almas están yendo al infierno lo más rápido que nosotros lo podamos mover. So therefore we have a great problem. Entonces nosotros tenemos un problema muy grande. We have a great work. Tenemos un trabajo muy grande. The work of this world that we must complete and fulfill in it. This work is bigger than us. With men it is impossible. But with God all things are possible. Amen. That's why it takes the power of the Holy Ghost. Filling the heart and the life of man. To go forth in the demonstration of the Holy Ghost to raise up the work in the fullness of its capacity in order to reach every soul on the planet the Lord has a very special concern in his soul for every heart on this planet. El Señor tiene una preocupación muy grande en cada alma de este mundo. The soul of man is very valuable to God. Dice la alma del hombre es muy vale mucho para Dios. It is more valuable than the human mind can even comprehend. Dice es más vale más que la mente del hombre pueda comprender. And therefore it brings me to the title of my message tonight. Entonces trae al título de mi mensaje en esta noche. The title that God gave me is the worth of a soul. Dice uh, el título que el Señor me dio es lo que vale una alma. As I was seeking the Lord, cuando estaba buscando del Señor, and I began to talk to God about this thing, y empecé a orarle al Señor de este tema. For a while, I didn't have nothing but the thing. Pero uh, por un buen tiempo no tenía nada más que solo el tema. But it wasn't until we got almost close to this campaign. Dice, pero no fue hasta que los acercamos a esta campaña that the Lord started to minister to my heart. And the Lord began to show me the depth of a soul's worth. And the Lord spoke to me and he told me to go to Matthew. And he told me to look at it in his death on the cross. And he said that in the cross, you will find the worth of a soul. As I say this statement, Cuando digo esto, keep this in your mind. Tengamos esto en nuestra mente. Guard this in your heart. A, a, agárrelo en su corazón. As I go forward with the message. Dice cuando yo sigo adelante con este mensaje. Let us go to our theme scripture. Vamos a ir a nuestro tema. Matthew 16, 26. Mateo 26. 16, 26. Mateo 16, 26. And we are going to read in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Lo vamos a leer en nombre del Padre, del Hijo, del Espíritu Santo. For what is man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Porque de, de qué aprovecha al hombre si ga... Dice, si granjere todo el mundo y perdiere su alma, ¿o qué recompensa dará el hombre por su alma? This is a very deep scripture. Dice, esta escritura es muy profunda. And it has a very serious couple of questions in it. Y tiene algunas pre, uh, preguntas muy serias. But as we go through this message, Pero cuando vayamos en este mensaje, we are going to draw out the answers to this scripture. Vamos a poder contestar las preguntas de esta escritura. Because there is one answer Porque hay una respuesta to this scripture. A esta escritura. The first thing that we are going to look at 
La primera cosa que vamos a ver, we are going to look at Adam and Eve. Vamos a ver a Adán y a Eva. If you would go to me to Genesis chapter 3. Si vamos a Genesis capítulo 3. We're going to do a little bit of traveling through the Bible. But I only want to give what God has given me to give. We're going to start out with Genesis chapter 3, verses 6 through 8. Vamos a leyendo Génesis 3, a versículo 6 al 8. In verse 21. El versículo 21. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. Y vio la mujer que el árbol era bueno para comer y que era agradable a los ojos y el árbol codiciable para alcanzar la sabiduría y tomó de su fruto y comió y dio también a su marido el cual comió así como ella. And the eyes of them both were opened and they knew that they were naked and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. Y fueron abiertos los ojos entrambos y conocieron que estaban desnudos y entonces co cosieron hojas de higuera y se hicieron delantales. And they heard the voice of the Lord walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord amongst the trees of the garden. Oyeron la voz de Jehová Dios que se paseaba en el huerto al aire del día. Y escondióse el hombre y su mujer de la presencia de Jehová Dios entre los árboles del huerto. Verse 21. Versículo 21. Unto Adam also and to his wife did the Lord God make coats of skins and clothe them. Y Jehová Dios hizo al hombre y a su mujer túnicas de pieles y vistiolos. Now with the reading of the scriptures, y se leyendo estas escrituras, this goes along with the theme. Dice esto va con el tema. So bear with me. Así que manténgase conmigo. Now the situation we have here, la situación que nos encontramos aquí, the serpent came and deceived Eve. Dice la serpiente vino y engañó a Eva. As he deceived her, y cuando e, e, la serpiente engañó a Eva, during that process, en ese proceso, she began to give heed to the devil. Ella empezó a escuchar al diablo. She rejected the word of God. Dice rechazó la palabra de Dios. When she rejected the word of God, cuando ella rechazó la palabra de Dios, she pulled her husband into sin. Dice también atrajo a su esposo al pecado. When they pulled, when she pulled her husband into sin, cuando ella jaló a su esposo al pecado. They both uh, had their carnal eyes opened up. Dice, sus ojos carnales fueron abiertos. They begin to see their own shame. Dice, empezaron a ver su desnudez. They begin to feel guilt. Ellos empezaron a sentir culpa. So the Bible says that they begin to sew themselves fig leaves and they made themselves aprons. Entonces dice la palabra de Dios que agarraron a, a hojas y se cubrieron. They tried to cover up their own guilt and their own sin. Dice, querían cubrir su propia pecado y su propia culpa. By their own work. Dice, con su propio trabajo. And it said that they sewed themselves fig leaves. Dice que ellos mismos costuraron vestiduras. And made themselves coverings. Y se cubrieron con delantales. Now it says in verse 8. Si miramos en el versículo 8. And they heard the voice of the Lord of God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. Y oyeron la voz de Jehová Dios que se paseaba en el huerto al aire del día. Y escondióse el hombre y su mujer de la presencia de Jehová Dios entre los árboles del huerto. When they had sin in their life. Cuando ellos tenían pecado en sus vidas. And the presence of the Lord showed up. Y la presencia de Dios llegó ahí. In the midst of God's presence. Dice, en la presencia de Dios. Sin brought fear. Dice, el pecado trajo un miedo. It brought guilt. Dice, trajo una culpa. And it brought shame. Y trajo una vergüenza. 
They tried to cover up themselves by their own means. Dice, ellos se trataron de cubrir ellos mismos. But this had no effect in the presence of God. Pero esto no tenía ningún efecto en la presencia de Dios. The fig leaves that they sewed together Dice, uh, los árboles, las plantas que ellos usaron, was of none effect. Dice, no hacía un efecto. It could not suffice. Dice, no podía ser suficiente. There was nothing that they could give in exchange for their souls at this moment. Dice, no podían hacer nada por sus almas en ese momento. So as we read in verse 21, y ahora miramos, uh, lo que leemos en el versículo 21, it says unto Adam also and to his wife, did the Lord God make coats of skins and clothed them? Y Jehová Dios hizo al hombre y a su mujer túnica de pieles y vestidos. There's yeah, many yeah, things yeah. just in this short verse that we can see. Dice, en este versículo muy corto podemos ver muchas cosas. The work of man was not enough to cover his sin. Dice, el trabajo del hombre no es lo suficiente para cubrir sus pecados. The work of man could not do what the work of God could do. Dice, el trabajo del hombre no puede hacer el trabajo que Dios puede hacer en la vida Amen. del hombre. So God had to intervene. Entonces el Señor tuvo que interceder. When God intervened. Cuando el Señor intercede. The Bible says that God made. La Biblia dice que, lo, que Dios hizo. The verse uh, before said that Adam and Eve made. Uh, el versículo anterior dice que Adán y Eva lo habían hecho. But now it's saying God made. Pero ahora dice que Dios lo hizo. Coats of skin. Dice a túnica de pieles. And he clothed them. Dice y los cubrió. Let's look at the phrase coats of skin. Dice vamos a ver túnica de pieles. That means an animal had to be put to death. Dice significa que un animal tuvo que ser muerto. An animal had to die. Un animal tuvo que morir. Its blood had to be shed. Dice su sangre tuvo que ser uh, uh, tuvo que ser derramada. derramada. We can see throughout the whole Bible. Podemos ver en toda la Biblia. From Genesis to Revelation. Desde Genesis hey, a hey, Apocalipsis. Hey, from Adam to the beloved disciple. Dice desde Adán hasta el discípulo amado. There is talk of a lamb being offered up before God. Dice ha sido hablado de una uh, oveja que va a ser dada hacia Dios. In the blood of a lamb being shed. Y la sangre de este cordero que va a ser in order to appease God. Dice, para poder agradar a Dios. In Revelation 3.18. It talks about a lamb being slain from the foundation of the world. The foundation of the world was the beginning of God's creation. Dice, la fundación del mundo es la, el principio de la fundación de Dios. God made Adam and Eve at the beginning of creation. Uh, Dios hizo a Adán y a Eva en el principio. The yeah. first offering up of a lamb from the foundation of the world. Dice yeah. el primer yeah. sacrificio de un cordero en, el funda, en la fundación yeah. del mundo. Hallelujah. God offered it up himself. Dice él ofreció el mismo. And shed its blood. Y, y se derramó su sangre. And used its skin. Y usó sus, uh, sus cueros. To cover the guilt and the shame. Para cubrir, dice, la pena y la culpabilidad. And to cover a multitude of sins. Y para cubrir la multitud. That was in the life of Adam and Eve. It was the divine work of God Almighty. That was able to give something in exchange for the soul of man. Let's move on. In chapter 4. Capítulo 4. Verses uh, 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 2 through 4. Dos al cuatro. It says, And she again bare his brother Abel, and Abel was a keeper of sheep, cut, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. Y después parió a su hermano Abel, y fue Abel pastor de las ovejas, y Caín fue labrador de la tierra. And in process of time it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. And Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel to his offering. Y Abel trajo también de los primogénitos de sus ovejas y de su grosura y miró Jehová con agrado a Abel y a su ofrenda. 
So now we have the direct descendants of Adam and Eve. Ahora miramos, dice, los descendientes directos de Adán y Eva. And with the son Abel, y dice, y el hijo Abel, we see the exact same process repeated in their son Abel. Dice, miramos el mismo proceso, dice, uh, otra vez, dice, con Abel. The Bible says that he was a keeper of sheep. Dice la palabra de Dios que era pastor de ovejas. And he took from the firstlings of his flock. Dice que traía de los primogénitos de sus ovejas. He also offered a lamb before God. Dice él también trajo un cordero delante de Dios. Blood was shed. Dice la sangre fue derramada. God was appeased. El Señor dice estaba conforme. And therefore he found respect in the sight of God. Entonces él halló respeto al lado de Dios. Because of a lamb that was without blemish. Dice, porque había un cordero sin mancha. He offered up the best unto God. Dice, él ofreció lo mejor hacia Dios. And it was the blood of this lamb. Y era la sangre del cordero. That was able to appease and please God. Dice, que pudo, dice, traer paz a Dios. Glory to the Lord. Glory Lord. Dios, We amen. see from the foundation of the world. Miramos de la fundación del mundo. From the very beginning. Desde el principio. From the moment that man fell away from God. Dice del momento que el hombre le falló a Dios. God immediately intervened. Dios inmediatamente se metió. And he set in place. Y puso algo. A type and shadow. Es un tipo y sombra. Of what he would bring to this earth. De lo que iba a traer a este mundo. Thousands of years later. Años y años después, for the salvation and redemption of mankind. Dice, para la salvación y la redención del pecado del hombre. So through this divine act, dice, con este acto, we can already see from the very beginning podemos ver desde el principio, the worth of a human soul dice, in the sight of God. Dice, lo que cuesta la alma how many of you believe that tonight that the soul of man is worth something to God how many of you believe that praise the Lord I would like to go to another example Rahab in the scarlet line Rahab Rahab in the scarlet line or the red cord. They say it it cordon rojo. Let's go to Joshua chapter two. Josué capítulo dos. Gloria a Dios. We're going to be looking at verses 15, 18, and twenty-one. Versículo quince, dieciocho, veintiuno. And it says, then she let them down by a cord through the window, for her house was upon the town wall, and she dwelt upon the wall. Entonces ella los hizo descender con una cuerda por la ventana, por, porque su casa estaba a la pared del muro, y ella vivía en el muro. Verse 18. Versículo 18. Behold, when we come into the land, thou shalt bind this line of scarlet thread in the window, which thou didst let, let us down by, and thou shalt bring, bring thy father and thy mother and thy brethren and all thy father's household home unto thee. He aquí cuando nosotros entraremos en la tierra, tú atarás este cordón de grana a la ventana por la cual nos descolgaste y tú juntarás en tu casa tu padre y tu madre tus hermanos y toda tu familia de tu padre verse 21 versículo 21 and she said according unto your words so be it and she sent them away and they departed and she bound the scarlet line in the window y ella respondió sea así como habéis dicho luego los despidió y se fueron y ellos ató el cordón And then we're going to go to chapter 6, verses 22 and 23. Vamos a ir al capítulo 6, 21 y 22. And they utterly destroyed all that was in the city, both man and woman, young and old, and ox, and sheep and ass with the edge of the sword. Y destruyeron todo lo que en, el, en la ciudad había hombres y mujeres mozos viejos hasta los bueyes y ovejas y asnos a filo de espada excuse me that was verse 21 versículo 21 
But Joshua said unto the two men that had spied out the country, Go into the harlot's house, and bring out thence the woman and all that she hath, as ye swear unto her. Mas Josué dijo a los dos hombres que habían reconocido la tierra, entrar en la casa de la mujer ramera y hacer salir de allá a la mujer y a todo lo que fueron suyo como lo juraisteis. And the young men that were spies went in and brought out Rahab and her father and her mother and her brethren and all that she had. And they brought out all their kindred and left them without the camp of Israel. Sí, amen. Y los marcelos, dice, espías entraron y sacaron a Rahab sí. y a su padre y a su madre y a sus hermanos y todo lo que era suyo. Y también sacaron a todos su parentela y pusieronlos fuera del campo de Israel. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Gloria a Dios. Now we are familiar with the story of the walls of Jericho. Dice, todos estamos familiarizados con las paredes de Jericho. Under the leadership of Joshua, they were to go into the city and they would be given the victory. Dice, con la dirección de Josué, iban a ir a esta ciudad y el Dios iba a dar la victoria. God would smite the walls down and give them the city. Dice, el Señor iba a derrotar las paredes y le iba a dar la victoria. In this city, there was a woman that was a harlot. Dice, en esta ciudad había una mujer. This woman that was a harlot, esta mujer que era ramera, she found favor in the children with the children of Israel. Dice ella yo favor, dice los hijos de Dios. And in the sight of God, dice en el lado de Dios, because she hid two spies that were of the children of Israel. Dice porque escondió a dos espías de los hijos de Israel. Now this woman, her house, dice pero esta mujer y su casa, her house was built upon the wall of the city. Dice su casa estaba, dice en la pared de la ciudad. The wall of the city was about to be destroyed. Dice, la pared de esta ciudad iba a ser destruida. So these yeah. men, Entonces, estos hombres, that went in unto her, dice que llegaron a ella, they told her to hang a scarlet line in her window. Le dijeron que pusieron un, un cordón de grana en su ventana. This same line that they entered into the house by and were let down by. Dice, la misma ventana que ellos pudieron salir. Hallelujah. It would be the same line that they would come back and get her whole household down by. Era de la misma manera que iban a sacar a toda su familia. Every member of her father's household. Dice toda la familia de su padre. Every member of her household. Dice todos los familiares de su casa. Would have to climb down this line that was hanging out of the window of their house. bajar por este lazo. There was something very significant in this line that was hanging out of the house. Es algo muy importante de este lazo que estaba bajado por esa ventana. It says that it was a red thread. Dice que era rojo. This is a type and shadow of the blood of Jesus. Because the soul shall be saved. So before they destroyed the walls of the city, Joshua sent these two men back to her house and said to go in and get them. And that every single person of that house would end Individually have to take this line down to the ground. In every single soul of this house would have to take this red line to salvation. Each and every soul this day and age has to personally have an encounter and an experience with the blood of Jesus in order to have salvation in their souls. Even with Rahab, the Lord was sowing a divine revelation in type and shadow of the blood of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world that would save every soul of man. How many can say glory to God for that? It is the blood of Jesus that we see throughout the whole entire Bible from beginning to the end through types and shadows in the Old Testament people 
sombras en el Antiguo Testamento. And then in actuality in the New Testament. Y también en actualmente en el Nuevo Testamento. Some of these churches out here are taking the blood of Jesus out of the message. Algunas de las iglesias en estos días están sacando la sangre de Jesús. But I'm going to tell you it's the blood of Jesus. Pero la sangre de Cristo. That purchased the soul of man. Es el alma del hombre. It's the power that is in the blood of Jesus. Es el poder que está en la sangre de Cristo. That heals the disease. Es el que sana a aquel que está enfermo. It breaks the bondage. Es el que quiebra la satanía. It sanctifies the soul. Es el que santifica el alma. And it causes the soul to be secure. In Jesus Christ. So that divine judgment can pass over you. If you take the blood of Jesus out of the Bible. We have nothing. There is nothing for a man to give in exchange for his soul. Dice no hay nada que el hombre pueda dar. Dice por salvar su alma. Amen. With this being mentioned, let's go to one more example. Dice por esto como hemos mencionado vamos a ir a otro ejemplo. We are going to look at the Passover. Vamos a ver la Pascua. In Genesis or Exodus chapter twelve. Exodus capítulo doce. Gloria a Dios. Verses three, and then five through seven. Cinco al siete. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month they shall take to them every man a lamb according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for a house. Hablar a toda la congregación de Israel diciendo, en el día de aquesta mes tomese cada uno un cordero. Por las familias de los padres, un cordero por familia. Verse 5 through 7. Versículo 5 al 7. Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male of the first year. You shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats. El cordero será sin defecto, macho de un año. Tomaréislo de las ovejas de las cabras. And ye shall keep it up until the 14th day of the same month. And the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. Ya veis de guardarlo hasta el día catorce de este mes, y lo inmolará toda la congregación del pueblo de Israel entre los dos tardes. And they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two posts, side posts, and on the upper door posts of the houses wherein they shall eat. Y tomarán de la sangre y pondrála en los dos postes. Y en el dintel de la casa en que lo han de comer. And then we're going to read verses 11 through 13. Vamos a leer versículo 11 al 13. And thus shall ye eat it with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and ye shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. Así habéis de comerlo, ceñido vuestros lomos, vuestros zapatos, y vuestros pies, y vos y vuestros bordón en vuestra mano y los comeréis apresuradamente en la Pascua de Jehová. Gloria For a Dios. I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. Yo pasaré aquella noche por la tierra de Egipto y iré a todo primogénito en la tierra de Egipto, así a hombres como en las bestias, y haré juicio en todos los dioses de Egipto, yo Jehová. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. La sangre os será por señal en las casas donde vosotros estáis y veré la sangre y pasaré de vosotros y no habrá en vosotros plaga de portandad cuando hiriere la tierra de Egipto. Gloria a Dios. Once again we see a perfect picture. Una vez más miramos un pa a una foto muy clara. When the Lord had uh, given commandment under Moses. Dice cuando el Señor había dado mandamiento under Moisés. 
that each house was to take a lamb. Dice que cada casa tenía que agarrar un cordero. Man. And it was to be a lamb without blemish. Y tenía que ser un cordero sin mancha. It was to be perfect. Y tenía que ser perfecto. Man. And they were to kill it. Y ellos lo tenían que matar. Its blood was to be shed. Y si la sangre tenía que ser derramada. And they were to put it upon the doorpost and on the upper parts of the door of the houses. Y se tenían que ponerlo en los puestos en la parte de arriba del marco. Man. Man. And this was to be a symbol. Y esto iba a ser un símbolo. And a sign of their salvation. Dice un símbolo de salvación. As the Lord said. Como el Señor dijo. Each house that was covered under the blood. Dice cada casa que estuviera cubierta con la sangre. He said I will pass over you. Because the Lord was coming with divine judgment. I tell you one thing. Yo les quiero decir algo. It is the only the blood of Jesus. Solo la sangre de Jesucristo. That will secure us and protect us. Es porque su, uh, 
He's took it and he girded himself. Y se él ha levantado. And he girded his loins before he got on the horse. Y se él ha levantado su vestido antes de subirse al caballo. And he prepared himself for his coming. Y se él se ha preparado para su venida. Back to the surf. Then it talks about your shoes on your feet. Y después habla de los zapatos en vuestros pies. Your staff in your hand. Y vuestro bordón y vuestros en vuestras manos. And ye shall eat it in haste. Y se y lo comeréis apresuradamente. This means there is an urgency. Esto significa que hay urgencia. Be ready. Que tenemos que estar listos. Be prepared. Because the Lord is coming. Oh, hallelujah. Y lo sanguinos. That's the first requirement. After being covered in the blood, they would eat the lamb. That means partaking with the lamb. Having true, genuine fellowship with the Son of God. And then being prepared. Being ready for the coming of the Son of God. This is a time and shadow of the warning that is going throughout the earth right now. Souls everywhere over the planet need to hear about the blood of Jesus. They need to be covered in the blood. They need to be getting their lives and their hearts prepared for the coming of the Lord because divine judgment is coming to this world and anything that is not covered under the blood and having true fellowship with the Lamb of God God will have no mercy on that creature it will be destroyed if you are not covered under the blood of Jesus you will be destroyed there is no substitute for the blood this puts a heavy burden and responsibility on the church of God because out of all of the religious organizations on this planet the church of God is the only one that has been given the great commission to preach the full gospel message into all the world as a witness under all nations and to get souls prepared for the coming of the Lord nobody else can do it because God has given the charge to the church to get the whole message to the whole world this world needs to hear about the blood of Jesus. Those of us that are in the church of God. We need to make sure that every part of our life is truly covered under the blood of Jesus. We need to make sure that we are having true fellowship with the Son of God. Make sure that we are preparing and found ready for the coming of the Lord. Making haste. Getting out of our houses. Getting out of our own lives. Surrendering our will. Surrendering our desires. Crucifying our own flesh. And making haste. 
dice apresuradamente to get the message of Jesus Christ para poder llevar el mensaje de Jesús to as many souls as we can dice a todas las almas que nosotros podamos because we are going to have to give an account to God for each and everything that we do porque nosotros tenemos que dar una cuenta a Dios de cada una de las cosas que nosotros hacemos and everything that we don't do y todas las cosas que no hacemos individually individualmente and as a church of God globally we are going to be judged in the finest way in a depth of detail that we cannot comprehend this world needs to know that Jesus is the yeah, Son amen, of God. Amen. That God loves him. And that the blood of Jesus was shed for their souls. And we need to start making haste and getting this message out to the world. We are in an hour where we can no longer afford to waste time. This world needs to know. Divine judgment is coming. And that there is yeah, nothing man. that man can give in exchange for his soul. This leads me to the question that is in the theme scripture. What shall a man give in exchange for his soul? This was a question of Jesus Christ himself. There is nothing, nothing that man can give in exchange for his soul. But I'm going to tell you there is one man. There is a man who has all he gave. Something in exchange for his soul. his salvation glory be to God how many of you understand that tonight how many of you understand that tonight what shall a man give in exchange for his soul do you remember the parable that Jesus told about the rich young fool he was living his life caught up in his own comforts enjoying the good pleasant things of life with no regard for God with no regard for his own soul he was planting a field and his fruits came forth in abundance and so he said to his own soul I will tear down my barns and I will build greater and I will sit back and take my ease and then the Lord spoke to him and the Lord said thou fool Say amen. what shall you give in exchange for those things that you've heaped up for this night thy soul shall be required of thee so then again the words of Jesus what shall it profit a man if he gained the whole world and lose his soul one human soul is worth more than this whole planet this planet is filled with over 7 billion people that's just the worth of one soul can you even imagine 
Usted puede imaginar the world, lo que vale, and the whole planet, dice todo el planeta, full of souls, lleno de almas. Mm -hmm. I don't think we understand the worth of a soul. Jesus understood. That's why he left glory. The Bible says that he is king of kings. It says that he is Lord of lords. He sits upon a throne. Dice que él se sentó en el trono. He's encompassed with an innumerable company of angels. A number that cannot be counted. The Bible says that Isaiah looked upon him. And he said, I see one like the Son of Man. Sitting upon the throne. High and lifted up. And it said that his train filled the temple. The train. The train that came from his garment. These are what kings have when they wear their robes. The train has different lengths. Some kings might have a long train on their road. Some kings might have a short train on their road. Isaiah knew something about kings in his day. The train that was on a road. It represents the majesty of that king. And it represents the length of his power. Isaiah said he looked upon the one sitting on the throne. And it said that his train filled the temple. And we're going to be reading verses 26 through 35. Unto them 
And when he had scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. Entonces le soltaron a Barabás y habiendo soltado a Jesús le entregó para ser crucificado. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the common hall and gathered unto him the whole band of soldiers. Entonces los soldados le, del presidente llevaron a Jesús al pretorio y juntaron a él toda la cuadrilla. And they stripped him and put on him a scarlet robe. Y destunaronle, le echaron encima un manto de grano. And when they had plated a crown of thorns, they put it upon his head, and they read in his right hand, and they bowed the knee before him, and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. Y pusieron sobre su cabeza una corona tejida de espinas, y una caña en su mano derecha, e hincado la rodilla delante de él, se le burlaban, diciendo, Salve, Rey de los judíos. And they spit upon him and took the reed and smote him on the head. Escupiendo en él tomaron la caña y le herían en la cabeza. Hallelujah. And after that, después de eso, they had mocked him. Que lo hubieran es, escarnecido. They took the robe off of him. Le desnudaron al manto. And put his own raiment on him. Y le vistieron de su vestido. And led him away to crucify him. Y le llevaron a crucificarle. And as they came out, they found a man of Cyrene, Simon by name. Him they compelled to bear his cross. Y saliendo hallaron a un sireneo que llevaba Simón, que se llamaba Simón, y este cargaba para que llevase su cruz. And when they were coming to a place called Golgotha, that is to say, a place of a skull. Y como llegaron a un lugar que se llamaba Golgotha, que es dicho lugar de las claveras. They gave him vinegar to drink, mingled with gall, and when he had tasted thereof, he would not drink. Le, le dieron a beber vinagre mezclado con hiel, y gustando no quiso beberlo. And they crucified him oh, yeah. and parted his garments, casting lots that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet. They parted my garments among them, and upon my vesture they did cast lots. Y después que le hubieron crucificado, repartieron sus vestidos, echándose suerte, para que se cumpliese lo que fue dicho por el profeta, se repartirán mis vestidos, y sobre mi ropa echaron suerte. Everything that we just read. Todo lo que acabamos de leer. This was before Jesus went to the cross. Dice, esto pasó antes que Jesucristo fuera a la cruz. They, Pontius Pilate had him beaten. Dice, Piloto, dice, mandó que lo golpearan. After he was beaten. Yeah. Después que él fue golpeado. It said that a whole band of soldiers took him into the hall and gathered around him. Dice que un grupo, a mí de soldados, lo llevaron. Y lo rodearon. He was in there alone. Y se, él se encontraba ahí solo. With probably about 16 soldiers. Más o menos tal vez uno de 16 soldados. Nobody there to help him. Y se, nadie más ahí para ayudarle. And they bowed down to him and mocked him. Y se, se pusieron a sus rodillas y le hicieron chiste. And then it said they put a crown of thorns on his head. Y le pusieron mm. una corona de espinas en su cabeza. And mind you, they didn't just lay it on his head lightly. These were cruel and wicked men. So they put this, they, they slammed it down on his head. And while he had this crown of thorns on his head, they began taking a reed and smacking him in the head with it. Can you imagine the bodily pain? After being beaten, de haber sido golpeado, having a crown of thorns on your head, yeah. and having the thorns smacked into your head every time somebody takes the reed and hits you with it. This was just the beginning of his suffering. And in the midst of his misery and pain, 
su miseria y su dolor. He had you in mind. Dice, él lo tenía a usted en su mente. Hallelujah. Your name was in his heart. Dice, su nombre estaba en su corazón. Your soul was in his mind. He said, "Su alma estaba en su corazón." He thought of you every step of the way. He said, "Pensó en usted en cada instante de su caminar." Do we really understand the love of God? Verdaderamente entendemos el amor de Cristo. These men spit in his face. He said, "Estos hombres escupieron su cara." The worst disgrace a human being can do to another besides peeing on him. He said, "Otra una cosa." que el hombre pueda deshacer o a otro hombre es he despised the shame the Bible said dice que él he despised the shame dice que él se olvidó de la vergüenza but it was the joy that was set before him pero era el gozo que estaba enfrente de él to suffer dice para sufrir Every step of the way, he said, "Cada paso que él tomaba, so that we could be saved, para que nosotros pudiéramos ser salvos, from divine judgment, dice del juicio divino, and reconciled unto God, y poder tener una reconciliación con Dios." While he was on the cross, cuando él se encontraba en la cruz. It said they gave him vinegar to drink mingled with gall, and when he had tasted thereof, he would not drink. Le dieron de saber vinagre mezclado con hiel, y gustando no quiso beberlo. There is something very profound in the scripture. He says algo que podemos ver en las escrituras. His whole body was beaten. Su todo su cuerpo había sido golpeado. He had cuts opened up all over his body. He says él tenía cortaduras en todo su cuerpo. Can you imagine the pain and misery that he was in? Se imagina el 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 dolor y la miseria que él se encontraba. This vinegar mingled with gall. Dice esta vinagre con hiel. This was not vinegar as we know it today. Dice esto no es vinagre como nosotros lo conocemos ahora. This was a Roman sour wine. Dice era un vino amargo. The, the reason that they would give it to those being crucified. La razón porque ellos se lo daban a aquellos que iban a ser crucificados. Because it would intoxicate them. Porque los iba a intoxicar. And it would help them to endure the suffering of their crucifixion. Y iba a ayudar a poder sobrepasar el dolor de la crucifixión. He was already from head to toe suffering. Dice él ya estaba sufriendo desde de cabeza a pies. His body was beaten. De su cuerpo había sido golpeado. The crown smashed into his head. Dice la corona dice apretada en su cabeza. And intentionally. Y intencionalmente. When they offered him this vinegar with gas. Cuando le dieron el vinagre con ayer. They put it up to his lips. Se lo pusieron en sus labios. He wasn't moving that much because he was in such deep suffering. Dice él no se estaba moviendo mucho porque estaba muy doloroso. But when he tasted that vinegar, pero cuando él pudo probar el vinagre, the Bible says he did not receive it. Dice la Biblia que él no lo recibió. He turned his head away from it. Dice que él volteó su cabeza. He knew exactly what he was doing. Él sabía exactamente lo que él estaba haciendo. In the midst of all that suffering, he said, "Oh yeah." Lo que él estaba sufriendo. He loved you so much. He was willing to do whatever it took to pay the full price. Él estaba dispuesto a pagar el precio completo. So intentionally, intentionally, he refused that vinegar with gas. Dice él rechazó dice el vinagre y el ayer. So that he could endure every single bit of the suffering. Dice para poder dice tomar todo este sufrimiento. With a sober mind. Dice con una mente en sus cinco sentidos. He intentionally, intentionally, wanted to endure every single bit. Quería pasar cada instante with a sober mind. Aleluya. Una mente en sus cinco sentidos. Gloria a Dios. And he had you in mind. Y él los tenía a usted su mente. Aleluya. While he was on the cross. Dice cuando él estaba en la cruz. We just talked about a whole lot. 
y hablamos de muchas cosas. But on top of all this, Pero, eh, de todas estas cosas, they added more to his suffering. Dice, más a su Out of the multitude of people, de la multitud de las personas, there were many people that were uh, yelling out slanderings against him. Dice, había muchas personas que estaban hablando cosas contra él. They were mocking him and ridiculing him. Le estaban haciendo chiste y lo estaban provocando. And they were even uh, making fun of him while he was on the cross. Tempting him. He knowing that he has all power in heaven and in earth. Had people saying to his face. If he truly is the Son of God, si eres el hijo de Dios, let him save himself and come down off of that cross. They have no idea the danger that they were in making that statement. They didn't know that God was in the flesh right before their face. Our God sí, is amen. a God of love. Dice sí, nuestro Dios es un Dios de amor. Sí, amén. Gloria a Dios. Gloria a Dios. Gloria a Dios. Aleluya. Gloria a Dios. Pero también es peligroso. A lot of churches ain't preaching this. Dice muchas iglesias no están predicando esto. They're preaching a God of love. Dice están predicando un Dios de amor. That has no anger. Que no tiene. That tolerates sin. Dice que tolera el pecado. And that there's no penalty for sin. Que no hay ninguna penalidad por el pecado. That you can live any way you want to. Que puedes vivir como tú quieras. It's okay. God loves you. Está bien. Dios te ama. As long as you have love. Dice no más que tengas amor. You're gonna make it to heaven. Tú vas a ir but if you tempt God, Pero si ustedes, dice, you're on dangerous ground. We need to know who it is that we're serving. Dice, we need to know who it is that we're living and working told the disciples I forewarn you whom you shall fear do not fear man who is able only to kill the body but fear him who is able to destroy both body and soul in hell we need to understand who it is we're serving. Jesus Christ shed his precious blood in exchange for our souls. This is the message that the world must hear. What are we doing? Are we so caught up in our day-to-day -day lives? Dice, están ocupados en nuestras vidas, our, our own comforts, dice nuestra propia conformidad, the cares of this life, dice lo que importa en esta vida. Aleluya, gloria a Dios. Give an exchange for this soul. Que lo que el hombre puede dar por su alma. Jesus asked. Jesucristo preguntó. This world needs to know. Este mundo necesita saber. We must get the message out. Tenemos que predicar. We need to be working for Christ in His church. Tenemos que estar trabajando para Cristo y su iglesia. Building up the kingdom. Dice, trabajando para el reino. In building up the church of God. Y también trabajando para la iglesia de Dios. Gloria a Dios. How many times throughout the week are we witnessing? Dice, cuántas veces a la semana estamos testificando? How many times are we handing out tracts? Dice, cuántas veces nosotros estamos dando tratados? Are we getting out in the community? O estamos yendo a nuestra comunidad? Saying God bless you. Diciendo a Dios te bendiga. Jesus loves you. Amen. Dios te ama. He's coming soon. El viene pronto. Sí. And that there's power in the blood of Jesus yeah, to live free from sin. 
When you tell people hey. this short statement, cuando nosotros decimos eso a las personas, it gets people's attention. Dice, agarra la atención de las personas. Even if they don't want to hear it. Dice, aunque ellos no lo quieran escuchar. When you get to that last part, cuando usted llega a esa última parte, there's power in the blood of Jesus to live free from sin. Dice, hay poder en la sangre de Cristo para vivir. A lot of times you can see a look in their face. A muchas veces podemos ver lo que ellos, lo podemos ver en sus like it's something that they haven't heard before. Como que algo que nunca habían escuchado anterior. There's other people out here preaching the gospel. Hay otras personas aquí que predican el evangelio. But how many of them are preaching the blood of Jesus? Pero cuánto de ellos están predicando el poder de la sangre. And the benefits that are the power of the blood. Dice los beneficios que hay en el poder de la sangre de Cristo. We have other organizations out there. And I'm not throwing stones. Y no estoy tirando piedras. But there are other people out there Pero hay otras personas who do not have the full truth. Dice que no tienen la verdad completa. Sí. But they have a spirit of evangelism. Pero tienen un espíritu de evangelismo. The kingdom world right now. Dice el reino en el mundo. It's buzzing about the coming of the Lord. Y se están hablando de la venida de Dios. People are out getting the messages out. That the Lord's coming soon. You got Jehovah Witness going door to door. You got the Church of the Latter Day Saints out there on their bicycles. Now don't get me wrong. We have uh, people in the church who are out there evangelizing. But, but why should those that are not charged with the Great Commission excel us in getting the work done? What are we doing? Time has run out. This is the message that God has given us. The worth of a soul. Lo que cuesta una alma. Sí, amén. Gloria a Dios. Gloria a Dios. Do we know the power that is in the blood of Jesus? Are we truly experiencing it? So that we can have an, an impact and effect on other people when we tell them about the blood of Jesus. And about his suffering for our salvation. Sí, amen. Gloria I would like to close out this service with an altar call. And I would like to open up the altar for a time of prayer. That we would really truly talk to God about what we are doing for Christ and His church. And about all the souls that need to be reached. The altar is open. Let us come and pray.